Hey everyone, welcome back. So now that we've covered the natural flutter extreme and the flutter butt, let's dive into the swimmer. Now right out of the box, you're gonna notice the, the beautiful paint scheme, the flock head, and the new uh, improvement to this season, which is that mesh weed guard. Um, if, if you purchased a swimmer in the past, you'll notice that they were plastic. Um, they do sell these, and so you can replace that plastic weed guard with some slight modification. Um, drilling a hole and, and tap it in a screw, you can mount this mesh weed guard. This will be the first season I've used this mesh weed guard, but I was pleased with the old style, but I'm interested to see how this works out. Um, to get her fired up and going, all you gotta do is pop the hatch, a couple of D batteries, just like that, shut the lid, fire it up. She's ready to go. Now let's talk rigging. What I do for rigging is all I've done is taken this Texas rig and I've ran about 36 inches of 20 pound test to a swivel clip. Now you're just gonna put that swivel clip like you normally would on any other decoy. You're gonna lock it on there. And you ask, why the fishing line? I'm gonna tell you. So as this thing's swimming around, all the weeds are gonna run down this fishing line. It's not gonna create any drag on this decoy. It's gonna run down here and allow this decoy to do what it's meant to do. If you've got a bunch of junk up here with a hoop and, and all that good stuff, it's, it's gonna jam up with weeds. It's gonna slow this duck down and you don't want that. So about 36 inches of 20 pound test hook to your Texas rig. Now all I did was take an aluminum stop and a swivel. That's all it takes. No big deal. Um, I've been using the old style for, for several years. Um, it's worked great for me. I've used the Roughneck Swimmer, which is another great swimmer line that they have. Um, I suggest that to you. But you're gonna, you're gonna love this decoy. It's great, it works great with these other ones and it's a definite bonus for your spread.